Exposition by Charles Hedden Spurgeon, Psalm 102 Verses 1, 2 Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come unto you. Hide not your face from me in the day when I am in trouble, incline your ear unto me, in the day when I call, answer me speedily. Sincere suppliants are not content with praying for praying's sake. They desire to really reach the ear and heart of Jehovah. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come unto you. When prayer is intensified into a cry, then the heart is even more urgent to have audience of the Lord. 3 7. For my days are consumed like smoke and my bones are burned as an hearth. My heart is smitten, and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. By reason of the voice of my groaning, my bones cleave to my skin. I am like a pelican of the wilderness, I am like an owl of the desert I watch and am as a sparrow alone upon the housetop. The psalmist gives us here a very graphic description of his sorrowful condition at that time. He was moved to grief by a view of the national calamities of the chosen people and these so worked upon his patriotic soul that he was wasted with anxiety, his spirits were dried up and his very life was ready to expire. 8. My enemies reproach me all the day and they that are mad against me are sworn against me. Their rage was unrelenting and unceasing and vented itself in taunts and insults. With his inward sorrows and outward persecutions, the psalmist was in as ill a plight as may well be conceived. 9-11 For I have eaten ashes like bread, and mingled my drink with weeping because of your indignation and your wrath for you have lifted me up, and cast me down. My days are like a shadow that declines, and I am withered like grass. This is a telling description of all saturating, all embittering sadness. And that was the portion of one of the best of men, and that for no fault of his own, but because of his love to the Lord's people. 12. But you, O Lord, shall endure forever, and your remembrance unto all generations. All other things are vanishing like smoke and withering like grass. But, over all, the one eternal, immutable light shines on, and will shine on when all these shadows have declined into nothingness. 13, 14. You shall arise, and have mercy upon Zion, for the time to favor her, yes, the set time is come. For your servants take pleasure in her stones, and favor the dust thereof, see sermon number 2576, volume 44, Zion's Prosperity, they delight in her so greatly that even her rubbish is dear to them. It was a good omen for Jerusalem when the captives began to feel a homesickness and began to sigh after her. 1517. So the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. He will regard the prayer of the destitute, and not despise their prayer. See Sermon Number 1141, Volume 19, Good News for the Destitute, He Will Not Treat their pleas with contempt. He will incline his ears to hear, his heart to consider and his hands to help. 18. This shall be written for the generation to come, and the people which shall be created shall praise the Lord. A note shall be made of it, for there will be destitute ones in future generations, the poor shall never cease out of the land, and it will make glad their eyes to read the story of the Lord's mercy to the needy in former times. 1923. 
for he has looked down from the height of his sanctuary, from heaven did the Lord behold the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoner, to loose those that are appointed to death, to declare the name of the Lord in Zion, and his praise in Jerusalem, when the people are gathered together, and the kingdoms, to serve the Lord. He weakened my strength in the way, he shortened my days. Here the psalmist comes down again to the mournful string and pours forth his personal complaint. 2427. I said, O oh my God, take me not away in the midst of my days, your years are throughout all generations. Of old have you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you shall endure, yes, all of them shall wax old like a garment, as a vesture shall you change them, and they shall be changed, but you are the same, and your years shall have no end. God always lives on. No decay can happen to him, nor destruction overtake him. O oh my soul, rejoice you in the Lord always, since he is always the same. 28. The children of your servants shall continue, and their seed shall be established before you.